As many are reporting now, the tragic massacre at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh was hardly an isolated event. Anti-Semitism has been on the rise, not just in the United States, but all over the world. And Al TV's correspondent Yael Shir joins us with more. Thanks, Aaron. Yes, according to FBI data, although Jews make up just 2% of the U.S. population, they actually account for over half of the Americans targeted by hate crimes due to anti-Semitism. Wow. And uh, like you said, anti-Semitic acts have been on the rise for years. In fact, 15 years ago, the Anti-Defamation League, or ADL, which is an international Jewish organization that fights anti-Semitism, issued a lengthy guidebook called Protecting Your Jewish Institution, Security Strategies for Today's Dangerous World. So clearly, combating the rise in violence due to anti-Semitism has been an ongoing battle for many years. And just based on another study in 2014 on attitudes towards Jews in over 100 countries, the ADL reported there are approximately 1.09 billion people in the world who harbor anti-Semitic attitudes. And that brings us to the massacre in Pittsburgh, which is considered the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history. So, all right, so the big question is what's being done? Because they're pretty identifiable sources, right? Well, we know soci social media plays a huge role. Um, many violent offenders gain massive followings on social media sites, and then these forums become easy gateways to spreading hatred in viral settings. Twitter and Facebook, uh, for example, have often facilitated the creation of new virtual anti-Semitic communities. Okay, so again, you know, how, how can or is this being addressed uh, without violating free speech, for example? Well, education is the key, and it's easier to prevent hate from developing than to address it after it begins. Um, Israel's official Holocaust Memorial Museum, Yad Vashem, has put together a free online six weeks course called Anti-Semitism from its Origins to the Present. Um, it explores 2,000 years of anti-Semitism, and it aims to answer a lot of questions about its evolution. Um, the course has video lectures presented by 50 leading researchers, historians, sociologists, philosophers, religious leaders, and political scientists from around the world. Um, they discuss the nature of hate, anti-Semitism in the wow. Middle Ages, Nazi ideology, um, and ways that anti-Semitism is dealt with today. Um, you know, it also explores current events that are related to anti-Semitism, which is really important, uh, such as the BDS movement, the alt-right in the U.S., and the British Labor Party. So hopefully we'll be able to combat this epidemic or at least gain the knowledge to be empowered on the subject. All right, well, there's no arguing here, and uh, thank you for telling us about the, the Yad Vashem course. It, it actually sounds amazing. I personally am going to go home and sign up. I, we can maybe study and compare notes. Definitely. Um, thanks for your report, Yale. Thanks, Aaron.